Hi, today I have prepared two multiplied choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. The process of transcription results in the formation of and here is the five answers to choose from and here is my brief uh, description. So imagine that we have double-stranded DNA and at the first stage uh, from one of the strand of DNA that would be template strand uh, message RNA would be made and then this message RNA would be used in order to make um, as, a source, as a source sequence would be used to make uh, protein and this stage number one we call transcription and stage number two we call translation. So uh, the correct answer here that uh, in the process of transcription message RNA would be made and this is uh, answer D. And so once again this is double stranded DNA, this is going to be message RNA and here we have protein. So next question, which of the following codons signals the beginning of translation process? And here once again we have four answers to choose from and here is my explanation. You just have to remember there is only one start codon and we have also three stop codons so it's very easy to remember one start codon and this is AUG so I can show you uh, the right answer right away and I also want to mention that uh, sometimes you may have the same question uh, formulated uh, uh, a little bit differently. For example, instead of uh, uh, RNA sequence, you may have DNA sequence. And the question could be then, so we have AUG that start, uh, stands for the start codon. And on the coding sequence of the DNA, we would have uh, A, T, and G. So as you see, sequence would be the same, but here uh, uracil would be substituted with um, zymine on the DNA strand. So this is DNA, and uh, this is going to be coding st uh, strand of the DNA because uh, code is the same. And the other strand of DNA that we call template strand would be complementary to this sequence and this is going to be A uh, pairs with T and U pairs with A and G pairs with C. So this is also DNA strand and this time this is going to be template strand. So now you see uh, if the question would be uh, formulated differently, you can also find um, message RNA sequence. If you know uh, what the DNA strand uh, present in the question, whether it is coding strand, so the uh, sequence of the message RNA would be the same but um, zymine would be substituted with uracil and if we have template strand then we have to build um, complementary uh, message RNA strand uh, using a pairing that is A pairs with uh, T or zymine and G guanine pairs with C cytosine. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.